everyone, welcome back to this how to series. And today we're gonna show you how to paint a mini daisy painting with wash. And I'm gonna use the same art material like uh, the first painting. I'll leave the link in the description box so you can double check and get it if you want. For the background of this painting, I'm gonna mix viridian green with ultramarine blue and a little bit touch of sienna brown to create a very dark green shade. After the first layer get dry, we're gonna start to paint a flower. The first layer of the flower, I'm gonna use the gray shade by mixing a lot of white with a little bit touch of blue and black. By doing this, it's gonna be easier for me to add the highlight on or top of the flower. So with the wash, I love to do from the dark to the light better than from the light to the dark. Because I don't use reference photos for this painting, so I recommend you just paint the various size of the flowers and don't spread them evenly on the paper and try to keep the space so our painting will look more natural. To draw the flower, I'm using the round brush and paint by the tips. Next, I'm gonna draw the leaf, and I also started with the darkest shade of leaf by mixing the viridian green with a lot of ultramarine and a little bit of black. I'm using the same color and add more white and yellow to create a medium shade. Remember we don't cover all the dark shade with the medium shade. We gonna draw them next to the dark shade that we made before. Now for the highlight of the color, I'm gonna use the same color and add more white and yellow to create the highlight for the leaf and using the very top of the tips to paint the leaf. Now our first layer of the colors is get dry so we can add more the highlight on top of our flower by using the pure white and with a little bit touch of water to create a second layer of the daisy and to make it look like the daisy has a lot of beetles so we gotta draw the this light beetles next to the first shadow beetles that we already made Now I use yellow ochre to create a flower buds. And also use yellow ochre to create a flower beetles. To make our flower look more pop up and not so flat, I'm gonna create the highlights for the beetles.
And now create the shadow for the petal so our, our flower looks more depth and more natural. Now we're almost done with the painting and we just gotta refine some det a little detail for the flowers. Okay, now we're done with the painting and I hope you gonna enjoy this. I will see you for the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.